Hello everyone, welcome to the course of computer network specifically for the gate purpose. In this lecture, we will talk about next flow and flow control mechanism that is go back and go back and ARQ. In the previous lectures, we discussed about the stop and wait ARQ method that is one of the flow control method. Now we will discuss about go back and A ARQ that is another type of flow control method. Uh, which comes in the category of actually sliding window protocols okay actually this is also a special case of sliding window but uh, you, we usually uh, say sliding window protocol to those uh, those protocols those methods where we are sent several frames at a time here we know that we send one frame in total transmission time but here we can send several frame okay so the, uh, so we call them as sliding window okay so in this actually further two methods come even is go back n go back n and another one is selective repeat okay so in this lecture we will focus on go back n met flow control method okay let's start with go back n okay uh, before that starting with go back n let's categorize the flow control methods actually we know that uh, we know the flow flow control methods let me write here flow control methods that can be categorized in three three uh, three uh, different methods actually we know one is stop and wait arq another one is go back n which we will cover in this lecture and another one is selective repeat selective repeat okay we will cover this in future lectures okay uh, actually we categorize them on the basis of actually on the basis of window size what is the size of the window okay uh, means what is the size of the sender window and what is the size of receiver window okay so sender sender I, I will write window size of sender window size of receiver okay window size of sender window size of receiver we know that in stop and wait uh, window sender window is one and receiver window is one one means window size means we are sending one frame one frame in in one transmission total transmission time okay we are sending only one frame and receiver is receiving one frame only then th that is sending back the acknowledgement for that again the sender will send one frame okay so the sender window size is size is one and uh, receiver window size is one in go back n sender window size is n this n in go back n is representing the sender window size actually this n is same as this one go back if i am saying go back five so sender window size is five okay and uh, okay what is the receiver window size uh, in go back and that is one means receiver is receiving one frame at a time i am sending multiple frames okay but the receiver is receiving one frame at a time in selective repeat uh, windows uh, win, uh, sender window size is let's suppose m okay and uh, whatever is the sender window size that is the same is the receiver window size in the selective repeat okay actually on the basis of window size uh, window uh, uh, window size we have categorized these different flow control method itself okay uh, uh, i can add more information here okay let me share one point with you we know this thing i have already shared this thing with you the number of the number of distinct sequence numbers number of distance sequence number is equal to sender window size and receiver window size i will use i will uh, okay i will we will find out okay what is the uh, what is the distinct sequence number for all of them okay 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 uh, you uh, first of all you tell me okay how many um, number of let me find out number of distinct number of distinct sequence number sequence number for stop and wait 
what will be the number of distinct sequence number required see what are the sequence number we know that we we uh, we use different sequence numbers we give we give a number just like a roll number these are just like roll number we give to give to the students we give a sequence number to the frame so that they can be identified okay and we try to keep them mini minimum okay we try to keep them minimum uh, we do not uh, use infinite number of if infinite infinite number of se distinct sequence numbers okay so these are minimum this is minimum number of actually distinct sequence number is actually sender window size plus receiver window size okay what is the sender window size si size here one receiver window size is one so distinct number of distinct sequence number will be for stop and wait will be two one plus one two okay one plus one two i'm using this formula okay i'm finding minimum okay this is minimum actually minimum required number of distinct sequence number required i again i'm repeating what is sequence number just a diff give just a number given to each frame so that receiver can differentiate between the frames okay and uh, why i'm writing minimum because i'm not using infinite number of sequence number to represent all the di all different frames I'm using I'm using some limited numbers. I'm using reusing those number again and again. Why I'm reusing those number again and again? Because I don't want to waste the space in memory. Okay. Otherwise, if I will go to infinite, then the size of the numbers will increase and that will take more space. That will uh, add the extra space in transmission. Okay. Okay. Let's find simply find out mi minimum number of distinct distinct sequence number. Here will be one plus one two. Here will be n plus n n plus one. Here will be m plus n. Okay, that is two into m i. Otherwise, both are same thing. Okay, so these are the number of distinct sequence number required here in the case of stop and wait, in the case of go back n, and in the case of S R S R. Uh, flow control method okay so from this we can uh, extract more information actually so to represent two distinct numbers how many bits are required one bit is required so let me write number of bits required to represent represent sequence numbers to represent distinct uh, distinct sequence numbers okay so how many bits are required to represent these numbers with one bit i can represent uh, with with one bit i can represent two sequence number 0 1 okay so with one bit with one bit okay so how many bits are required to represent uh, this much sequence numbers Okay, let's suppose n value is n value is three. Means window sender window size is three. In that case, number of bits required, number of sequence number will be four. Three plus one four. To represent four different sequence numbers, I require two bits. Four four combination I can make with two bits. Zero 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 one one zero one one. Okay, let's suppose uh, let's suppose okay uh, number of this n value is seven. Let's suppose seven. Then number of distinct sequence number will be seven plus one eight. To represent different eight sequence number, how many bits are required? Three bits are required. Two power three is eight. Three bits are required. Two power three is eight. Let's suppose. Okay, let me take one other another one also. Let's suppose fifteen is the value of n. So total number total is total number of distinct sequence number is sixteen. Okay. To represent. Uh, represent 16 different sequence numbers how many bits are required 2 power 4 that is 4 bits are required to represent 16 distinct distinct sequence numbers or, or, or you can say okay uh, log of base 2 n plus 1 okay so if this is 4 log of 4 is 2 if uh, let me write here log of for example for example 3 plus 1 that is log base 2 4 is 2 or let me take more example 
log base to 7 plus 1 that is log of 8 is 3 so 3 bits are required 2 bits are required bits okay and so on actually and what about in this case the same method we can use this will be log of how many bits will be required to represent this distinct number this much 2 into m this much okay and actually more accurately uh, we need to put selling over that okay uh, in case uh, in case uh, for example in case here number of bits are actually let's suppose here yeah, sender window size is let's suppose 2 okay let me keep it keep this number smaller actually so 2 if this is 2 so number of distinct sequence will be 3 2 plus 1 3 so to represent 3 numbers 3 numbers how many bits are required with 1 bit I can represent 2, two, num, two uh, distinct numbers with 2 bits I can represent 4 for 3 I need to use minimum 2 bits even though one sequence will go waste okay but uh, to represent 2 plus 1 3 3 3 distinct sequence numbers I need to require 2 bits so that's why I am putting ceiling here okay so uh, if I, I will take log of that so that will be in case of this actually if I will take log of log of 2 plus 1 that will be log of 3 that will be actually 1 point something 1 point something let's suppose 8 okay so if I put ceiling over that so that will be 2 okay so 2 bits are minimum required in this case so that's why I'm putting ceiling here so you need to put ceiling in both the case okay so this was the extra information about this so we have categorized the flow control methods actually we are focusing over here now go back n and we know that here n is representing the window size of the sender window size of sender and receiver size receiver window size is one in the case of go back n okay let's continue with the go back n now go back n let's uh, let me introduce with go back n in go back n n represent this n represent shows the size of the sender window we know we know this thing size of this so this shows the size of the sender window okay actually uh, what is the difference between go back n and uh, stop and wait why we are using go back n actually performance of go back n efficiency of go back n is more than the stop and wait why because in stop and wait we were sending one frame one frame in complete total in, in total uh, transmission time okay one frame we were sending in stop and wait but in go back n we are sending n frames in total transmission time so here efficiency is more go efficiency of go back n is more actually we can send n frames by using the pipelining we know how we use the pipeline means we are sending the frames back to back without waiting for the acknowledgement we are sending we will send the frames back to back here okay so go back when n is more efficient than the stop and wait we can see this thing okay let's see now the working of the go back and how go back n method flow control method works okay so this is a very important point about the go back n go back and spots cumulative frames and cumulative acknowledgement actually cumulative means multiple frames or, or we can say group of frames group of frames means go back and sends go back and flow control method in go, go back and flow control method sender sends group of frames community frames group of frames all together okay and also the receiver send the cumulative acknowledgement cumulative acknowledgement means acknowledge one acknowledgement one acknowledgement for a group of for a group of frames okay let's understand the same point with the help of timeline diagram so here is the sender and uh, here is receiver 
see receiver timeline this is sender timeline okay let's suppose let's suppose we are uh, we are working on go back 7 let's suppose okay means seven, if n value is 7 means sender window size is 7 okay let me make the window here so we i can send 7 7 i can send sender can send 7 frame at a time 0 let me make it like this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 again actually that will start with 0 1 2 and so on so i can send 7 7 frame at a time so the window size is 7 that will be 0 to 6 so window size is 0 to 6 that is 7 okay sender window size is 7 that is 0 to 6 and uh, why i am using 0 to 7 as a sequence number these are a sequence number because we know that sequence numbers are actually sender window size plus receiver window size in the receiver side the window size will be one only okay we know this thing receiver window side in go back n is one okay so that is six uh, that is here window size is seven here window size is one so seven plus one eight so that's why we are, i'm using eight different sequence number zero to seven that is eight sequence numbers i'm using okay why i'm using eight only eight i will explain that thing also in this lecture okay so right now what this point means we are discussing this thing okay so i'm telling you how actually go back and is working okay see we know that this is the windows window of one first window of the sender actually see how how the sender will send the packet uh, frame sorry so this is sender is sending zero number zero number frame means data with zero number frame comma what else that is sending first number frame means frame means it's data i i can write frame also f f also in place of d you can write f also means frame i'm sending which number first number or second number frame d for data actually or frame second number frame data it's this is the frame number this is the data of the frame okay so third number frame fourth fifth and sixth we know that the sender is sending 0 to 6 frames all together that is sending all the frame all the frame in a group all together that is sending all the frame okay this is how actually go back and works so that send all the frames together and then receiver will send the send the send one acknowledgement that uh, receiver will send only one acknowledgement only one acknowledgement for all these frames that is known as cumulative acknowledgement means for the group of frames this for for these seven frames actually zero to six so receiver will send only one acknowledgement in the case of go back n okay so this is how actually go back n is working that is sending all the frames together whichever is present in one window and uh, receiver is sending one acknowledgement for all the frame why i am writing seven here why i am writing okay this will uh, this will receive one by one all the frame three four five six now this needs seventh frame so that's why that's mentioning this number in acknowledgement I need seventh frame please send the seventh frame now okay so now see how, how the window will move actually we know how, how that will move so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 or oh, sorry 0 1 2 I need to reuse the numbers again 3 4 5 okay and so on 6 
okay so we have already sent these frames we have uh, sender received the acknowledgement the moment that will receive the acknowledgement so the now window uh, window will shift like this uh, next uh, next seven frames will be sent one two three four five six seven up to five okay this is the next this will be the next window and then these these frames will be sent all together all together in the group all together all the frame will be sent frame number okay let me write the directly frame number seventh one zero one two three four five okay and this will send the then the receiver will send one acknowledgement which one ACK six okay so this is how actually go back and is working actually this is the first case case number one of the go back end actually there uh, there are three cases in the go back end this is the first case okay means there is no problem occurring sending all the frames getting acknowledgement sending frames getting acknowledgement but but uh, in the later cases we'll, we will see if frame is lost or acknowledgement is lost then how we will handle that thing okay okay here in first case i'm repeating we have done only i have explained only two points one is community frames i'm sending sender is sending community frames and uh, receiver is sending community acknowledgement means one acknowledgement for all the received frames okay so this is this comes in case one okay let's explain the working working of the go back end okay the case two what is the case two in case two if a frame is lost if a frame is lost then losted frame as well as the following frames should be retransmitted so this is the case two let's try to understand this point uh, with timeline diagram okay so let me make start from here this is sender and uh, this is receiver okay so let me take the same example go back seven okay means i was sending seven frames this at a time the window size was the seven zero one two three four five six seven then again zero one two three four five okay so we were sending this this window of frames okay center is sending all of them let let them send okay so it's sending zero one two three four five six the sender is sending zero to six frame let's suppose let's suppose one a frame is lost a frame is lost let's suppose third number frame is lost if the third number frame is lost in between while sending from sender to receiver even though these are these are sent even these are sent zero one two and four five six third number frame is lost the actually the receiver is receiving all the frame one by one because the window size of receiver is one window size of receiver is one so that is receive zero first then that receive one then that receive two and uh, that do not receive three that was three was required but not received then see what receiver will do then receiver will send the acknowledgement by asking please send the third please send the third frame as well as all the all the frame following the third means actually what receiver will do see after receiving these three frames zero one two when he will not receive this third frame he will this he will discard fourth frame fifth frame and sixth frame also that will discard all of them this one also because that is not receiving third one so that need third one first then only that will receive all of these this is how actually go back and works okay a receiver will discard all the frames after if any of the frame is lost in between after that all the frame will be discarded by the receiver and receiver will send the acknowledgement that okay i have re uh, received up to 012 please send all the frames 
including th third frame, all the frame following the losted frame. So our losted frame was three. We need to resend that as well as following frames. We, these are the following frames, four, five, six. See here that will be sent. Now the window will be like this. In window we will be having three, four, five, six and so on. Okay, so the sender will send these frames now. Sender will send these frames. Three, four, five, six. And the then this receiver will send the acknowledgement of if that is received successfully, seven. Okay, then that will start from seven again. Okay, so important part here is when sender sender is sending only now these four frames with uh, which is not received by the receiver after that that will again start with a window size of seven okay okay so this is how this is the second case of go back end in which if a frame is lost then receiver will discard all the frames after this third frame after this lowested frame as so he will send the acknowledgement okay please send me third frame as well as all the other frames so sender will send all the all these frames which are followed by three and three itself lowested frame and then if that is rec received properly accurately then the acknowledgement will be sent as acknowledgement seven seven frame is required okay so this is the case two of if the frame is lost how go back and will behave okay let's see now the third case in which third case in which acknowledgement is lost if acknowledgement is lost then what the how the go back and will behave in go back and if acknowledgement is lost then the frames present in the sender buffer or sender window will be retransmitted okay let's see what he want to say here is our sender here is our timeline of receiver okay now sender send the packets let's take the same example go go back 7 so i'm so the here window is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 again 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 again 0 and so on so this is the starting window at center side and we are sending okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 frame all together as a community frame okay and the, then the sender is sending the acknowledgement as acknowledgement 7 but that is lost acknowledgement is lost that is the third case if the acknowledgement is lost then what the go back and will do is then then all frame present in the buffer or sending sender window these frames are present in the sender window actually uh, we know that sender store all the frames in a buffer okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and clear the buffer if that receive the acknowledgement for that okay so from this buffer sender will resend sender will after uh, sender will resend these packets but after the timeout after, after waiting for the timeout this is the timeout we know what is timeout so after waiting for a while if that do not receive the acknowledgement sender will think that okay these uh, maybe uh, these packets are not received by the receiver so that, that will resend all these packets 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so sender will resend the resend these old packets so this is how the third case of go back and work then all the frame present in the buffer or in the sender window will be retransmitted okay okay now here one more point i want to share with you is that there may there may a problem there may be a problem in this case actually what is that actually see here sender is sending repeated frame 
sender is sending these these frames are same as this one these are repeated frame because sender do not get the acknowledgement okay while receiver may think that receiver may think that these are new frames receiver will may think that these are new frames how the receiver will think that these are new frame if and only if, if this is happening if this is if i am not following this rule actually if i am not following this rule not i am not using this thing then this misconception may occur what, what is the misconception? The mis misconception is that even though sender is sending these frames are same as this frame. These are repeated frame. Repeated. But receiver may think that these are new one. These are new one. Okay. He has already sent the acknowledgement for that. Okay. How that will differentiate that these are not new one. This is, this is old one. That is repeated one. Receiver will check its number actually sequence number he was looking for the seventh frame he was looking for the seventh frame but which frame are coming frames are coming from zero again not from seventh one not from seventh one so now receiver will assume that okay these are the old one these are the old one repeated one how how uh, receiver is finding out these are the repeated one because receiver was asking for the frame number seven and which is which uh, which is sent by the sender starting from zero so now receiver will think that okay maybe my acknowledgement is lost and sender resend these packets again then that will discard them but this is only possible if we if i'm starting i'm using the sequence number seven here let's suppose let's suppose i'm not using the sequence number seven i'm using all for six frame how many frames i'm using one two three four five six seven seven frames i'm using let's suppose i'm using only seven distinct number seven distinct sequence numbers rather than this i'm using this zero one two three four five six i want to send zero to six frames so I'm using zero to six frame num frame number okay sequence number again starting from zero one two three four five six zero one so on so here if I'm sending the sending this frame like this and I'm not getting the acknowledgement then I'm sending these again actually but what is happening at receiver side receiver is uh, receiving all the frames zero one two three four five and six that is received all of them now which one that, that, that is asking for that will send the acknowledgement for zero in this case if i'm using number of sequence num sequence number is seven zero to six okay if i'm not using eight sequence number i'm using seven sequence number then is the problem then this problem is occurring otherwise not occurring otherwise this problem is not occurring actually this is very important point you need to listen carefully then all the concept will be clear okay so i'm saying that this problem is occurring if i'm using this much number of sequence number if i'm using eight sequence number then there is no problem means if i'm using n plus one sequence number then there is no problem but if i'm using less than this if, we, if i'm i'm saying okay i'm using less than this sequence numbers are less than this then the problem is occurring means i'm using seven or six or five or four or three or two or one i'm taking example of seven okay so if let's suppose i'm using seven sequence number zero to six even though i'm sending the repeated repeated sender is sending repeated frame but receiver will think think that okay i have received all of these now this will actually send the acknowledgement for zero and that is getting zero that is starting from zero to so on zero one two three four five six okay and receiver will think that these are the new frames receiver will think that these are the new frames sender is sending the repeated frame sender is sending repeated frame if i am using less than this number of sequence means 
here I was using 8 that was 7 plus 1 7 plus 1 but here, here I'm using less sequence number means let's suppose 7 even I can use less than use less than that if I, let's suppose I'm using 7 and still in the in this case problem is occurring what the problem receiver will think that I'm the sender is sending new frames but sender is sending repeated frame okay so to solve this problem actually that's why that's why we set we set this formula that's why we are following this this formula to set the distinct number of sequence numbers so how many distinct sequence numbers are we using eight here zero to seven this is actually helping to solve this problem okay so if I am sending 7, no problem is occurring, but if I am sending 0 here, receiver is sending 0, problem is occurring, okay. So if I am not using this formula, what is this formula? Minimum number of di distinct sequence number should be sender window size plus receiver window size. That should be n plus 1 in case of go back n. If that is, I am not using it, I am using less number of sequence number th than this then this problem will occur. What is the problem? Sender will re may repeat the packets in case of acknowledgement lost, but receiver will think that these are new one. These are new one. These are not old one. These are not repeated one. This problem may occur only if, only if I am not using this, this formula, this method. Okay. That's why I am using n plus one sequence numbers not less than that. So this is the minimum sequence number, distinct sequence number required to function the flow control methods properly. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Let's now see the working of the go back N. Uh, this is the important point how actually go back N works. In go back N, sender sends, sender sends a number of frames specified by the window size specified by window size even without without receiving an acknowledgement okay sender is sending the uh, frames back to back sending the frames even without receiving the acknowledgement not not like stop and wait in stop and wait we send a frame then wait for the acknowledgement then send the next frame but here without waiting for the without receiving the acknowledgement sender is sending the frames okay this point uh, this is how actually go back and works. Let me show you the same thing uh, with the timeline diagram. Okay, let's suppose uh, this is the sender timeline and this is the receiver timeline. Okay, okay, let me take the example of go back, go back four. Okay, so we know that four here is this N. This N is actually our sender window. Okay, sender window size. Sender window size is four. So uh, actually uh, we can write the sequence numbers. We know the sequence numbers are actually we will use sequence number. Sequence number is equal to sender window size plus receiver window size. So receiver window size in go back n is 1. We know this thing and sender window size here is 4. So the, uh, the sequence numbers we will use is 5 that is 0 to 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are different sequence numbers we are using for uh, for assigning names to assigning number to the, to the frames. Okay. So again, I will reuse the same sequence number for different frames 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are the 5, 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 for the center window, 1 is for the receiver window. So total is 5. So I am using 5 different sequence numbers. Okay. So I will repeat these numbers again and again. 1, 2, 3, 4. We will talk more about it in this lecture itself, but at the end. Okay. Okay. But right now, the important part here is window size. Sender window size is 4. So 4 frames will be there. 0, 2, 3. 4 frames will be there in the sender window. Okay. So see how uh, go back n is working. So that is sending zero number frame that is sending zero number of frame okay and uh, that is received at the receiver okay even even though the uh, sender is not received any acknowledgement for zero sender is sending all the frames in the window sender is sending all the frames 
present in the window actually okay so this will send first frame also second frame also and third frame also okay and the the receiver is now receiver is the moment receiver will receive the zeroth number frame that will send the acknowledgement for that okay after receiving the acknowledgement for zeroth frame sender will slide the window like this one step further okay means this at this point actually i'm talking about this point at this point sender received the acknowledgement for zeroth frame zeroth frame and that will slide the window one step okay Be, uh, why because this frame has been received that can go out of the window now now that will insert another frame inside the window that is fourth frame and transmit it okay so the moment the fourth frame is transmitted the next next acknowledgement will be received here okay and the moment the acknowledgement for first will be received the window will slide one step one step window will slide okay i am talking about this point the at this point the acknowledgement for first first frame will be received and then the window will slide and we will transmit this center will transmit this zeroth frame okay so this will this 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 step will keep going on this step will re keep repeating okay one window will slide one by one and uh, the moment the acknowledgement will be received the window window keeps sliding and the sender will keep transmitting the frames okay let let me do it uh, for one or more steps okay the same thing will repeat okay see now the current window is this current window is this what do you mean by current window means i have transmitted right now this is the current window we know about the current window according to current window 1 and 0 already transmitted how we know that 1 and 0 transmitted we have received the acknowledgement for that okay and now the sender have transmitted 2340 2340 even though sender do not receive the acknowledgement for that okay the moment the moment sender receive the acknowledgement for two here in the in this case for second frame the window will slide means two will be out of the window the moment we will receive the acknowledgement for and a frame that will go out of the window and new frame will be inserted inside the window and that frame number is one now one that will be transmitted this step will keep repeating on one one uh, window will slide one by one here one step by one step important point is this and the second one is second important point is okay the moment here how the window will slide the moment we receive the acknowledgement for the previous frame for example here for third frame the moment is the acknowledgement is received and the window will slide and the, this second frame will be transmitted this the same step is repeating again and again actually okay the important part here is that sender is not waiting for the waiting waiting for the acknowledgement to tra transmit the next frame actually here what do you mean by waiting uh, waiting for uh, not waiting here for the transmission of the next frame actually means that just like in stop and wait sender is not wasting its its, its time okay sender is sending the frames back to back okay here in go back and sender is sending the frames back to back and back to back without wasting the time just like stop and wait okay okay this, so this is this is how actually go back when is working actually this is the this is the first case of go back and how go back if go this is the successful phase case actually in this case in this successful case nothing is going wrong everything is going very perfectly means what you mean by going wrong means no frame is getting lost no acknowledgement is getting lost so if a frame is getting lost that is the next case if acknowledgement is getting lost that is the next case okay so we will study two more cases in this case two and case three that is about the if something get lost in this then how the go back and will handle that okay let's see the next case okay 
let's see the second case in second case actually if the frame is lost if the frame is lost then how the go back and will behave so that is written here how the go back and will behave i will read this statement and actually i will explain the same statement with timeline diagram okay that will be easier for us let me read this statement for you in go back n if a frame is lost if a frame is lost then the losted frame the frame which is lost as well as the following frames the frame which are further followed following the losted frame should be retransmitted those must be retransmitted okay let me explain the same same thing with the timeline diagram so this is the sender timeline and this is the receiver timeline okay let me uh, write the sequence numbers for the frame we know that 0 1 let me take the example for go back 4 itself because 4 is a sender window so sequence number will be 5 4 plus 1 so 0 1 2 3 4 4 5 se different sequence number 0 to 4 okay again that will repeat 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 keep going on actually okay okay so sender window size is 4 so this is our sender window size the sender is sending 0th frame okay that is received here the sender is sending all the frames actually first frame second third all 0 1 2 3 4 okay so let's suppose 0 is re received properly 1 is received properly let's suppose second frame is lost second frame is lost this frame this frame is lost the moment 0th frame is sent actually the and the moment receiver will receive the receive this 0th frame then that will send back the acknowledgement we know this thing that will send back the acknowledgement and the moment receiver will receive the acknowledgement that will slide it its window we know this thing this is 4 now that will read transmit fourth also third also third year earlier and fourth also okay the moment receiver receive the first first uh, frame that will transmit the acknowledgement for that and uh, after receiving the acknowledgement for first we know that sender will move the window one step forward so next frame is 0 that will also be transmitted that will also be transmitted but the where the problem is occurring now now the second frame is lost this frame is lost see our current window is this this is our current window means these are frames are right now in sending mode these are on the way or they may be reached okay so they these are on the way these have already sent we have already received the acknowledgement for 1 and 0 for 0 and 1 okay but current window is this this thing is important important part okay so second this is the second is the this is the losted frame this is the the frame which is lost losted frame see how how it go back and will behave how receiver will behave when a frame will be losted means a frame will not be received by the receiver see this is receiver side receiver receives 0th frame so the window size is 1 at receiver end we know this thing and that will move further the moment it receives first frame now it is looking for second frame but the it do not receive the second frame okay the receiver do not receive the second frame even though third fourth and 0th frame are also sent successfully those are also sent because the, those are in the current window this is the current window so in the current window we have sender already sent second third and fourth and zeroth frame but second is lost receiver do not receive the second see how receiver will behave receiver will okay receiver will also discard the moment receiver will receive third frame that will discard it receiver will also discard fourth frame and zeroth frame sender is sending four frame here second third fourth and zero according to current window okay but the second frame is lost second frame is lost as the second frame is lost sender is receiver is receiver is looking for the second frame only okay receiver is looking for the second frame only that will not receive any other frame 
until it will not get the second frame this is how go back and works okay so the the this will receive only second frame only so this will discard all the all the followed frame these are these are the followed frame followed frames so the receiver will discard all the followed frames and what will happen after that so, so after waiting for some time means after waiting for time out time out time after the timeout timer will expire the sender will think that okay i do not get the acknowledgement for second frame maybe maybe the receiver do, do not get the second frame okay so that may be lost it and uh, he must have he must have discarded all the further frames also so he will retransmit all the frame present in this window in the current window so that will be second one that will be third that will be fourth and that will be zero so all will be retransmitted again okay this is what actually how second case is working okay so uh, you can see here is this second frame this second frame is the losted frame which is actually losted and third fourth and zero third fourth and zero are the followed frames which followed the losted frame okay which are also already were already sent actually okay so this is what this point is saying actually this is the case two point in go back and if a frame is lost if a frame is lost then losted frame then the losted frame these two losted frame as well as the following frame as well as the following follow following frames should be retransmit should be retransmitted that's it about the case 2 that's it about the case 2 okay let let me uh, let's do it for for uh, further on actually now the moment it will receive the second frame it will send the acknowledgement for that and will move further third and then fourth and so on this will keep going on so this is the second case i'm repeating it if the frame is lost the receiver will discard all the followed frames also sender will wait for timeout timer and will retransmit losted frame as well as the followed frame that's it the case 2 okay let's see the case 3 now in case 3 actually let's see the case 3 in case 3 we will check out how the go back and will behave if acknowledgement is lost if an acknowledgement is lost okay i will take the same example for go back four okay four is the center window size size so what will be the sequence numbers will be zero to four five different distinct sequence numbers will be there so this is sender this is receiver okay so the let me write a sequence numbers for the sender window zero one two three four zero one two three four so on actually okay so we know that this is the first window and all are transmitted zero one two three okay but let's suppose okay let's suppose this is the acknowledgement sent by the sender and uh, the moment it receives the acknowledgement this will slide the window we know this thing and this will tra transmit this fourth frame because this is our current window and uh, sender send all the frames which are present in current window so fourth frame will also be sent okay now let's suppose this is received here and this transmit the acknowledgement for this so the window will slide further again we know this thing this, this is case one actually so zero frame will be resent but let's suppose now let's suppose the second frame acknowledgement is lost second frame acknowledgement is lost then what will happen what will happen that is the case three if the acknowledgement is lost then all the frame present in wind sender window see which this is the sender window now this is the sender window this is the current sender window okay and we do not receive the acknowledgement for the second frame sender do not receive the acknowledgement of acknowledgement for the 
second frame then what will it will do it will all, uh, all the frames present in center window all the frames 2 3 4 and 0 should be retransmitted that should be retransmitted okay so sender will wait actually for this acknowledgement for the for second acknowledgement for timeout timer and if do not receive the acknowledgement then this will transmit all the frame present in the window so this will transmit second third fourth and zeroth okay all the frames present in the window will be retransmitted all the fr window frame will be retransmitted this is case 3 that's it okay let me repeat it again if an acknowledgement is lost then sender will wait for some time for timer time out timer and he will think that okay uh, he, he will think that okay so maybe receiver do not receive that frame or maybe the acknowledgement is lost so that will retransmit all the frames that will retransmit all the frames which are present in the current window okay so this is how actually case 3 of the go back and works actually there is one more point in uh, one more point related to acknowledgement of go back n and that is okay let me tell you what that point is actually acknowledgement can be represented in two ways one is in cumulative way and one is in independent independent way okay okay go back and actually use the cumulative way of acknowledgement okay let me tell you okay what are what is cumulative and what is independent okay let's suppose this is sender this is receiver sender send an uh, send a frame number one let's suppose then 2 then 3 then 4 okay here is the receiver receiver is sending the acknowledgement for frame number 1 2 3 and 4 for all of them okay so all acknowledgement for for let's suppose for first frame one is received here for second received here for third here for fourth here for every frame receiver is sending the acknowledgement so this is known as individual acknowledgement okay so this is uh, in this we are using individual acknowledgement method to convey to the sender that okay the frame is received okay another way of sending the acknowledgement is cumulative so in cumulative what what happens is here is the sender here is the receiver sender is sending multiple frames 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so rather than sending the uh, acknowledgement for every frame every frame actually receiver waits for some time receiver waits for some time and that time is known as acknowledgement time See acknowledgement time and time out time both are different. Time at time out time is the time wait by the sender to receive the acknowledgement. Acknowledgement time is different one. Acknowledgement time is waited by the receiver for some time and after this time how many how many frames are received one acknowledgement will be sent for all the frames. So here two see in this time in this time two frames are received frame 1 and 2 so this will send acknowledgement like this acknowledgement 3 means 1 and 2 are received now it required third frame okay so this is uh, this is how actually how cumulative cumulative acknowledgement work actually our go back and use cumulative acknowledgement but you may be noted that we have sent the acknowledgement for every every particular frame in the last in the, all the cases actually okay actually we were using cumulative acknowledgement but we set the acknowledgement time equal to zero there what do you mean by setting the acknowledgement time to zero it means is that acknowledge if acknowledgement time it time is zero if this time is zero then this will wait this will not wait the time is zero so immediately this will send the acknowledgement so because in this time only one frame is received 
so this will send the acknowledgement for this in this time this will not wait further because time is zero this will not wait wait further acknowledgement time is zero so this will, this will send like this it will send like this so this will work just like the individual acknowledgement if if acknowledgement time is set to zero okay so uh, actually i will say that i will summarize this uh, this concept like this go back and uses the cumulative acknowledgement okay so that use the acknowledgement timer to send how many to send multiple uh, one acknowledgement for multiple frames actually but uh, to make the concept easier for go back and to explain the working of go back and i i set the acknowledgement timer to zero okay in the exam also if uh, they are not providing you okay up to how much time acknowledgement is uh, for how many frames acknowledgement is sent one uh, one acknowledgement is sent we will think that acknowledgement will be acknowledgement time is zero actually that if uh, if the time time is mentioned how, after how many times acknowledgement is need to be sent if this is not mentioned then we will think like this we will send we will use this thing okay okay let's move on so there is one more important point actually we are using this concept again and again and again i use this concept i use this formula many times in this uh, go back n also i i said i i say you that i am using go back n go back n 4 i was use i was taking this example and because we know that this 4 is a window size and we know that receiver window size is one in go back n and i was that's why i was using distinct sequence number i will say minimum distinct sequence number i was using 4 plus 1 that was 5 you may be noted that i use 0 1 2 3 4 these number repeatedly in the sender window okay so i was using this formula actually i was setting the distinct sequence numbers as sender window size plus receiver window size sender window size plus receiver window size i was using five sequence number in in, in my previous example okay so why i i use the five the reason is, I, I will explain why i am using five sequence number minimum five can, cannot i use the four sequence number or three or two or one only so let's let me uh, prove this thing that okay we need to use these much number of distinct sequence number at least minimum means i need to use for this example five sequence number minimum otherwise our go back n will create problem what problem this problem actually i will explain this problem what this problem is let me explain the same thing with the timeline diagram okay let's suppose I, let's suppose i'm taking less number of sequence numbers i was using 5 0 1 2 3 4 let me take less than that let me take 4 let me use 4 sequence number and let me see what will happen is that will work fine or will create some problem okay so here is the sender here is the receiver i'm using 4 sequence numbers so 0 1 2 3 these are 4 0 to 3 again i will be using same 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 and so on i'm using it for go back 4 actually i'm trying to use it i'm trying to use four sequence numbers 0 1 2 3 rather than 0 1 2 3 4 i earlier used this these sequence number in my sender window okay let me see if there there will be any problem or not okay according to this i am using this formula i am adding 4 plus 1 i am using 5 here but let me use less than that let me see if, if there any problem occurring okay so the sender window size is 4 okay the sender send the 4 frames 0th frame first second and third okay let's suppose let's suppose this frame is lost okay let's suppose uh, let's suppose i'm sending or cumulative uh, cumulative acknowledgement for all of them or maybe let's suppose all these are lost all these are lost 
if the acknowledgement for these are lost then sender will wait for timeout timer and we will retransmit these will retransmit these frames 1 0 1 2 3 okay let's see now at the receiver side what receiver is doing receiver is receiving 0 received 0 successfully okay done first also done yes second yes third yes even though receiver received all the 0 1 2 3 all the four frame and he has sent the acknowledgement also he don't know that acknowledgement is lost okay now next frame he is expecting is which one zero because i am using the sequence number zero one two three zero one two three okay so this is expecting what is the expectation zeroth frame number and what it is receiving now zeroth itself zero itself so it will say okay this is the next frame zeroth frame very good this is the first frame this is the second one this is the third one okay see what the problem is occurring receiver is thinking that these are the new frames these are new frames okay these are not these are not old frames but the sender is sending old frames these are sender is sending the old frame old or duplicate frames duplicate Sender thinks that okay, receive, maybe receiver do not receive the frames. That's why he sends them all of the frames again. But because the sequence number here is zero, and receiver is also expect was expecting zero, so receiver will think that okay, this is this is the next new frames. These are new frames. But sender is sending the duplicate frames. Okay, so this is the problem will occur if we will use four here four sequence numbers actually sender and receiver are not able to differentiate between older older frames and the new frames sender is thinking these are new frames and receiver is sending the duplicate frame in case if acknowledgement is lost so this problem can occur if we are using less number of sequence number less than this these are the minimum sequence number i need to use according to this i need to use minimum five if there were five see if they maybe let's suppose i'm using five sequence number now see how this example will behave so zero one two three four zero one two three four and so on so the window size is this and this the acknowledgement is lost so this will resend zero one two three four sender but now receiver is looking for which frame number fourth one receiver is looking for fourth one let me write here let me write here zero is received one is received two is received at receiver side three is received now it is looking for fourth one fourth one he, he don't know that acknowledgement is lost he is looking for fourth one but which one is it is receiving zero zero one the moment it will receive zero receiver will think that okay maybe acknowledgement is lost that's why sender is repeating the old old one because the new one will be fourth one no new one will be fourth one so now uh, sender will okay send resend the acknowledgement for that for them resend the acknowledgement for them okay so with this thing with these numbers with this five sequence number the problem is no, not occurring but with, with less than that the problem is Occurring. So this is what this point is. If sender is sending repeated frames, repeated frames, these are the repeated duplicate frames, duplicate frames. While receiver may think, receiver may think that these are new frames. Receiver may think that these are new frames. This will occur if we are not using this formula. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. That's it about this lecture. Thank you.